people of tamil nadu seriously believe that uh, government of tamil nadu could have uh, handled things better and uh, you will be surprised to know even i was surprised to know when i learned this uh, there is no limitation what we can do god has punished us cursed us like this so we can have to, it is it is a common men's language being a government you should be prepared for Uh, there was a lack in prediction by the imd but preparations and till now we never hear uh, throughout uh, india that there is a communication gap from imd department after 2014 there was no great uh, big attack from pakistan or china into india previously till 2014 we were seeing lot of attack is visit and the time i don't buy this own. argument whether the chief minister should be there the prime minister should be there home minister should come directly governor r and ravi has uh, convened a review meeting we have news from raj bhavan that uh, no one from the state government uh, attended the meeting or briefed him on what is happening do you think this is uh, got to do with political agenda or prob Certainly, we can suspect some political motive behind this. Motive. The state government should have welcomed the decision from uh, by uh, the governor, rather than uh, they said uh, how he can uh, convene a separate meeting uh, if uh, President of India, um, um, Ms. Draupadi Murmu, conducts. Hello and welcome to this week's Pandey Politics. Um, we have a lot of things to discuss, including the rains lashing the South Tamil Nadu, and the recent issues in the Parliament that's happening. And we have Mr. Rangraj Pandey, Editor in Chief, Chanakya, with us to discuss these points. Ms. Karman, welcome, sir. I want to start uh, similar to last week. I want to start with the rains. Uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, the Tamil Nadu is uh, continuing to get. um getting bashed by rains and this time the quantum of uh, rainfall is much more higher than what happened in chennai um first thing first uh, how is the how are the preparations how was the ground receiving it how was the administration handling it and uh, how do you think that this is all happening in south tamil nadu sir uh, people of tamil nadu seriously believe that uh, government of tamil nadu could have uh, handled things better uh, we cannot stop rainfall we cannot exactly predict rainfalls you might be aware uh, we used to scale the rain uh, in centimeters and millimeters and there uh, is some uh, uh, two key words which uh, the imd uh, the department used to use that uh, heavy rain very heavy rain uh, extremely heavy rain like this they have some differentiation for this heavy rain means this much centimeter very heavy rains means this much centimeter extremely heavy rain means this much centimeter and uh, uh, red alert orange alert like this they are having lot of scales and uh, you will be surprised to know even i was surprised to know when i learned this uh, there is no limitation above 50 centimeters but what happened in thootukudi uh, and tirunelveli was almost 100 centimeters so even uh, we can call even there is no scale to scale it that is the uh, tragic thing uh, even wmo we used to call uh, world uh, meteorological organization wmo they were like who uh, world health organization is wmo even they don't have the scale more than 50 cm so they will they will uh, alert that there will be extremely heavy rain that might be 50 cm 51 cm 60 70 80 90 100 whatever the cm it is it is about about 50 that's it so they don't have the scale to uh, scale this even so this was very heavy extremely heavy rain without any doubt certainly we can call it it, is, it was historical and uh, no uh, precedent uh, we have in the recent times you can call it 100 years 50 years of course we don't uh, know um, uh, certainly it was a heavy rain but it is not about any individuals you can cry a family may feel bad and uh, individuals can uh, feel uh, worry um, that uh, they were unable to handle things things are going beyond their control but the government should not 
feel so and it should not act in that way that is having the mechanism we used to we used to call a government machine so uh, that should have a mechanism that should have a system and that should learn from past experiences and uh, uh, we can very easily call uh, recall the 2015 situation in tamil nadu especially in chennai so 2015 became a benchmark why not the 2023 itself just uh, this uh, beginning of this month was also an experience so what you learn from your experiences that is the main thing what we learn from that you have to expect the unexpected that is what what we learn so uh, it is not that whether imd has predicted rightly or not whether the prediction was accurate or not it may be a seen as a blame game you are blaming them and certainly imd will not blame if at all uh, the criticism is against mr uh, home minister modi um, uh, amit shah or prime minister modi ji they may counter you but an officer from im department won't counter the minister or chief secretary here so it is not about prediction it is about preparation so what way you are prepared for the unexpected things that there comes to the main thing just because we are blessed with uh, not uh, um, becoming more and more urbanized the mostly the rural areas areas of tutukudi and tunnelur districts most affected but there is a very less life loss a huge economical financial loss but very uh, less economic uh, life loss you just imagine what could have happened if that 100 centimeters of rain poured in chennai unbelievable unimaginable that disaster should never happen we should pray to god so the more and more urbanization more and more planning should be there it is not about giving some approval to the building it is about planning that is where we are having a town planning system that is where we are having cmd and all so they have to plan they have to uh, work on it they have to think about the future uh, with a simple uh, thing i will uh, finish this um, uh, answer singapore is a small city that become a country they have it, it's an island they have um, completely they have sea around them they started reclaiming the land they started reclaiming the land and they started getting into the sea so i witnessed there a road called beach road almost two kilometers far away then at the, that particular road there is a, there was a beach not nearby so beach road is almost two to three kilometers far away from the beach what happened they were completely reclaiming reclaiming even then extended the city itself the country itself and you will be surprised to know with very limited population they have still 25 percentage of unutilized land just imagine they reclaim in the sea and now they are having 25 percentage of unused land for their purpose this is how a visionary leadership a visionary government mission has to work you cannot think that we are a city we don't we are not at all a country we cannot do a lot of things we are an island we have a lot of limitations it is not about that okay we are all aware of our limitations what next when you are aware of your limitations and challenges you should come up with a solution that is called leadership and vision and we are very well aware about israel it is a desert and completely surrounded by their own enemy countries they are surviving they are succeeding their gdp their growth their investments their imports and their exports they are doing amazing things they have a lot of thousand one challenges and reservations and limitations what is happening in japan you in under in 365 days you can see 300 days tremor or um, uh, uh, earthquake or anything the very little, uh, very the richter scale may vary but uh, there will be a tremor or earthquake the, every other day including in the capital city of tokyo are they suffering from uh, all this earthquake and all they implemented the technology in the construction itself so if there is an earthquake now the, you, you can see that uh, uh, Tokyo cities, um, so Tokyo buildings will wave. It will flex. It will flexible, but there won't be any 
um, um, damages, there won't be any um, um, collapse life, or anything. Life threat and all. Yeah. So that is how we have to use the technology. You are very well aware that there will be 360 days of um, earthquake. And what we can do, God has punished us, cursed us like this. So we can have, it, is, it is a common man's language. Being a government, you should be prepared for unprepared and unexpected things. That is what common men expect from any government. It is not about Tamil Nadu government. It is not about central government. It is about any government. And that is what happening. That is what reflected in uh, South districts. See, the problem here is, uh, as you rightly pointed out, sir, there was a criticism and even uh, CM, uh, Mr. M.K. Stalin has said that there was um, uh, there was a lack in prediction by the IMD. But preparations and uh, predictions should go hand in hand. Only if you have a prediction, because this is definitely, as you said, very, very historic and 100 centimeters of rain, almost 100 centimeters of rain, nobody expected. But if it is uh, if it has been predicted correctly, uh, probably it might have given a lot of space for the uh, ruling DMK government here to prepare well. Don't you think that um, th this is a point that the IMD should respond to and, you know, clarify as to why there is a delay? Are we lagging in the technology or what is that, you know, that has uh, caused this uh, lag in prediction or if at all, we have to also clarify, they have to also clarify whether it was a lack in prediction or lack in communication. So either ways, it is, it will help in the preparation, right? Till now, we never hear uh, throughout uh, India that there is a communication gap from IMD department. No way. Not only in India, throughout country, throughout world, we have never seen a miscommunication. Even enemy countries, if they've been neighboring countries, they used to share the weather reports. Even in war time, you can see and uh, check. Even now, Ukraine and Russia will share their weather reports to each other. Even now. So that is how the WMO works. That's how they have instructed. So there is no way of chance of miscommunication from the IMD department. That was not a charge at all, uh, even from the state government of Tamil Nadu separately. Second, every science has a limitation. It is science is not God that you can expect everything from anything and everything from uh, um, uh, science. It has its own limitations. Now we have an IMD department that is uh, some technology and science. We are expecting them to predict accurately. If at all there is no IMD department, if at all there is no such science, what will you do? Do you have any uh, technology to predict and prevent the earthquake? Only in recent days we were able to have one um, alarming system for tsunami. Even that was not tested in India. We are having the system. Uh, it has to. <clears throat> it has to work well. We should pray that it, it should need not to be tested anytime. So we 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 got that um, tsunami alarm that, uh, system only after when we were affected by tsunami. We, even now we don't have any alarm for earthquakes and all. Then what will you do? So the technology limitations will be there always. That is what I am saying. It is about individuals. If earthquake happens um, um, any other time, a common man will blame the God, the nature. He will curse himself. What I can you? I am um, cursed with all this fat. But a government should not act in that way. It should be prepared. What you will say? Okay. Then uh, next question is there. If at all the um, uh, warning and alarm uh, prediction was accurate, how many days before it should be there? Three days? Four days, seven yes. days, one week, one month, then you will bring all the lorries, all the trains there. It is not about a single day or a second day or third day. It, you know that it is unpredictable. Now the all this um, uh, climate change and all happening everywhere throughout the world. It is not only in Chennai or uh, down south of Tamil Nadu. It is happening throughout the world. Every other country is suffering from all these type of things and all. Of course, I agree. It was a historical, unpredictable, unmanageable rainfall. But we expect the government to handle things. In after 2014, there was no great uh, big attack from Pakistan or China into India. Previously, till 2014, we were seeing lot of attacks uh, every other day in Mumbai, in Srinagar, in Delhi, in um, uh, Republic Day Parade, somewhere this this year and there in North East Asia. Everywhere it was happening. Why there is no uh, terrorist attack after 9/11 in America? 
that is how you should prepare okay something happened to, to you okay we got the message and we will learn whether it's a man made whether it's nature made you should learn things what could have happened if uh, in uttarakhand <coughs> more than 40 people all um, uh, got arrested in that uh, uh, tunnel if the government thought what we can do here whenever we are drilling the um, complete um, uh, rocks are um, uh, falling down so this may be a threat to uh, their life anyhow they um, uh, may, may, may already they are in life threat so let us leave what we can do if they leave, leave that they got all the different technology somebody from namakkal in tamil nadu went there somebody from australia they came somebody from north east states they came they used all technologies all manpower to bring them away alive that is how the system should work you should be ready for everything perfect uh, one more question sir on this uh, south tamil nadu rains there is a lot of criticism around cm stalin traveling to uh, delhi for the inda alliance and to meet uh, prime minister modi for uh, seeking relief funds for tamil nadu <clears throat> how do you see this sir like is do you think that this could have been postponed considering the situation or do you think irrespective of whether the chief minister is there in the state or not the uh, ministry should or the departments should function efficiently and the officers should function efficiently how would you see his visit and the time i don't buy this around? argument whether the chief minister should be there the prime minister should be there home minister should come directly why not the defense minister went there i don't buy this argument whether the chief minister should be there or not secondly i don't buy again this argument that he went for a political meeting rather than attending the uh, public grievance in um, uh, south um, tamil nadu and all it is a system it is not about individuals and we know that we are dealing with politicians even though if it is if he become a chief minister or a prime minister or a home minister they have their own political things also and a political system and a government system cannot run one by one they cannot go one by one they have to do simultaneously at a time everything some some this morning they might have go to some death in the afternoon the same person has to go to one marriage so there he has to cry there he has to um, laugh uh, so this thing will happen in every individual's life especially in the politician's life so they have to handle the politics as well as the governance simultaneously they cannot have um, uh, you, you, you can say it will be very uh, fancy and fantasy to call that um, uh, nation first and the politics next it is not whether it is a nation whether it is security whether it is a parliament whether it is a um, uh, prime ministership whether it is a chief ministership whether it is a rainfall whether it is earthquake whether it is development whatever the subject is politics will be there because the government itself is running by run, run by politicians so you should not expect to postpone all this some day some flood will be here in tamil nadu some day some earthquake in north east some day some uh, manipur issue will come some uh, elections uh, state elections will come so 360 days something will happen then you will never may, may happen to meet so whether chief minister attended the inda meeting or uh, flood relief system that is not the matter whether the flood was handled by the system properly or not that is the question was the chief minister there um, the chief minister son um, uh, minister uh, mr udeniri there that doesn't matter whoever be there chief secretary there collector there sp that doesn't matter whether the work has been done or not the flood relief is given or not uh, preparatory work was um, happening over there or not and um, uh, whether they were um, uh, prepared earlier to the uh, flood or no uh, 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 sorry whether they were prepared to the flood earlier or not these are the questions we have to ask and answer it is not about whether he was present or not and somebody asked me uh, the central government uh, team uh, came to the spot 24 hours before even the chief minister visited the area doesn't make any difference even after that they are going to discuss with the chief minister only they are going to visit the flood affected area chief minister also is going to visit the chief minister area the flood affected area and one more thing if chief minister visiting in the core time uh, when the flood was there when the rain was there what will happen it will create minister, additional ruckus yeah uh, he will be escorted with one year dgp two adgps four dags eight isps 10 collectors all ministers and all everybody will focus on chief minister when chief minister is there everybody has to focus on that that's the right thing that's the protocol then who will take care about the flood affected people so if he comes delay to the flood affected area that's a good thing 
whether the system is there or not whether the people are there or not whether the officers are there or not whether the ministers are there or not whether they are working or not that's the thing the system is there but it's not working then it's failure the system has to be there the manpower has to be there it has to work that is what we have to i i never believe in this type of rhetoric things that, are, that we we can leave these two politicians they can handle with the rhetoric things we have to focus whether the government performed or not that ends the matter whether chief minister went there or we we we, we he did something else it's not um, uh, is no way connected to me governor r n ravi has uh, convened a review meeting and he has invited people from many departments uh, experts and people from state government but uh, the chief secretary was notified well in advance but we have news from raj bhavan that uh, no one from the state government uh, attended the meeting or briefed him on what is happening do you think this is a got to do with political agenda or probably they were really busy, busy resolving the issues of um, you know the flood and everything and they they were not certainly we can suspect some political motive behind this move uh, from the state side because i find no mistake from governor side he has not convened the meeting of that flood affected collectors if at all the meeting was with the collectors of the particular districts and sps of the particular district the work will not happen so that will be a disruption and disturb disturbance so that should not happen he conducted a meeting with the national agencies like military paramilitary crpf um, um, uh, army navy and imd department railway department all these central agencies he accompanied with them and uh, he discussed with them and the uh, um, press release from rajbhavan of tamil nadu clearly states we have requested first line we have requested they have not instructed they have not summoned even though they have the right that's a separate thing governor has the right to uh, summon any officer of tamil nadu even though he has the right they said they requested and second thing to send some representative from the government not any particular officer they were not asking for chief secretary they were not asking for home secretary they were not asking for even pwd secretary or water resource secretary they were asking for some resource person whoever it is he can he could have been a joint secretary under secretary whatever it is it is not going to uh, it is not about summoning him or warning him or blaming him it is not it is about coordination so he was uh, having a meeting of all the central services agencies and some state representative could have been there it will could be a better message from the central to the state on what the aids they can do what the aids they have already given what more they can expect from the central government that will help the state government to um, add on things and make things in smoother way somebody is discussing convening a meeting to support you and you will blame that how dare you can conduct a meeting it is to support you so where from wherever the support comes we should accept it's about supporting you as i earlier said it was not a meeting of the particular district collectors we in north india they used to call the uh, district magistrates it was not about district magistrates it was not the um, uh, sp police officers of the particular district it was about central agencies they were already working here so all the top officers from south were there in the rajbhavan so they were there to support the state government the state government should have welcomed the decision from uh, by uh, the governor and they should have um, uh, supported extended their support to him rather than uh, they said uh, how he can uh, convene a separate meeting uh, if uh, president of india um, uh, ms draupadi murmu conducts a separate meeting what will be the reaction of prime minister that is the reaction from my side he, he may, that uh, governor was not conducting any cabinet meeting without the chief minister he was not conducting any cabinet meeting he was not even uh, conducted any secretary meet he was conducting central agencies and officers and uh, meeting to support the state government the state government missed one more bus just because of this ego clash going between uh, the uh, government of tamil nadu and the uh, governor of tamil nadu so um, uh, that, that is uh, again that's the last to the state uh, not about not to any particular uh, governor is not insulted by all these things he was insulted uh, in um, uh, even in cruel ways uh, than this so it is not an insult to him and uh, it is not an insult to um, uh, neither um, uh, state government not the governor it's a last two uh, uh, people of tamil nadu perfect sir thank you so much for taking time and uh, explaining everything in detail my pleasure ma thank you thanks